Hey guys, this is Jennifer Mason, and this is part of the video series that we're doing for managing permissions in SharePoint Online for Office 365. In this session, we want to look at some of the troubleshooting tips you can use to find permissions of certain users within your site. If you are given administrator rights of a site, it's your job to really manage the permissions and know who has access to what. So in this session and in the following demo, we just want to show you some of the tips and tricks that you can use to make that process a little bit easier. The thing to remember is that permissions are managed at the location of the item. This means that if we have a document and we wonder who has permissions to that document, we would want to go to that document itself and look at the permissions for that document to find out who has access. One of the tools that's available in um, SharePoint Online is the ability to look at the information bar. That's going to kind of tip us off and let us know if the content that we're looking at inherits from the parent or if it has unique permissions. The first thing we want to look at our demo is the information bar. So I'm going to go to Site Actions, Site Settings, and Site Permissions. What you'll see is a yellow information bar that tells us that some content on the site has unique permissions which are not controlled from this page. This is letting us know that there's unique permissions in the site. We also see a link that says show me the uniquely secured content. If I click on this, it's going to tell me that the shared documents list has unique permissions and it's going to let me know that there's some items in the presentations library that have unique permissions on items. I can click here to say view exceptions and it's going to show me what particular items have unique permissions. So we see that this information bar is here and it's going to help me drill down and understand what permissions are set within the context of the location. Likewise, I can go to a library. I can click on the library ribbon and go into the link that allows me to manage permissions for this library and I can see that some of the items in this list have unique permissions. So I can say show me the uniquely secured items in the list. When I go there I'm seeing the same information that I saw from the previous screen. So what I wanted to show you is that you can from the context of the location find out information in the yellow information bar that lets you know how the content is secured. I can go into other libraries, so if I go into shared documents, go to the library ribbon, click on the check permissions, I'm going to see that this library also has unique permissions. I can go to other list, I can go to their permission settings page, and I can see that this list inherits the permissions from the parent. So the information bar is going to be updated based on the context of my location to let me know about the permissions at that particular location. The next demo that we want to do is going into a specific item and finding out what permissions they have. So in this demo, I'm going to go into the presentations library and I'm going to go to the item drop down of one of the items that I know has unique permissions. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say manage permissions. So I see that this folder has unique permissions and I can see what those permissions are. If I went back to presentations and went to the other item in the library and went to manage permissions, I would see that this document inherits permissions from its parent. So you can see from this demo that this information bar is very contextual and shows us the information for that specific location. So if you had content and you were curious as to find out who had access to that information, the best thing to do would be to go to that particular location that you want to check and look for the information bar and it's going to give you the information you need to get started. If it says that it has unique permissions, you can kind of drill down and see what those are. If it inherits from the parent, you can easily click on the link above to go to the permissions for the parent and see those permissions. I hope you found this demo helpful. It's just one of the little tips and tricks that you can do as you're trying to manage permissions for the Office 365 and SharePoint Online sites. So hopefully this will help you get started. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my blog or via Twitter. Hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.